and teachers, welcome back to the Get Together Discussion Forum. Today I have the pleasure of having Ms. Rebecca Rester. Hi. Hello, hello. She's Atlantis University's DSO. My name is Federica Morini and today I, I will be your moderator. So for today, we'll be talking about how to join an education from an accredited university such as Atlantis University. And we'll touch on topics such as how to obtain a visa and also OPT for graduate students in the United States. Thank you for coming. Thank you, I appreciate it. Remember that you can ask questions and comment at the end of the discussion. So let's start, are we ready? Absolutely, awesome. let's do it. So, what do I have to do to study in the United States? So first, pick a school. Okay. Atlantis University would be number one. Of course. My choice. Um, take a look at our website. We have lots of information there. There is a, a link for international students, okay, and it'll give all the admission requirements. Okay. Um, keep in mind, you've got to fill out the enrollment forms. You have to provide transcripts, you know, your bank statement, sponsorship letter, um, letters of recommendation, resume. So there's quite a few things, items that you have to select. Once you have everything ready, contact one of our um, academic advisors. They're going to walk you through everything and help you out. Um, once you're accepted into the school, into the university, Atlantis University, um, I'll send you an acceptance letter and a Form I-20. The Form I-20 is the document needed to schedule an embassy appointment. Once you visit the embassy, we want you to be approved and, and then come and join our, our program. Awesome. So is there a time frame for application? Is there a recommended time for applying? There is because so many students want to come from abroad. Um, keep in mind, 40 nationalities everywhere wow. students come to visit us and we have a, a nice range of student population. So as soon as possible, find out when we're starting, apply as soon as possible, meet the requirements so you can get your embassy visit because again, many students are applying not just here everywhere but we want you here at Atlantis University so get your embassy slot get approved and then come and see us so remember have everything ready apply on time so we can have you over at Atlantis University uh, what are the types of visa that the United States offer to students wow that's a good question because there's about hundred and eighty five visas in the US we um, do the non-immigrant visa, which is the F visa, and that's what students are coming for. And that will allow students to study in the language training for English programs and our academic programs. And you know, we do do the associates, the bachelors, and the masters. That's wonderful. We have business, IT, computer engineering, healthcare management. There's a whole list. Please, you know, visit our website. Great, and is, um, do you have to be an English speaker in order to apply? Well, for the language training, no, okay. no, but um, for the academics, yes, there is a criteria for that and that is on our website. Okay, awesome. So what are the costs of these visas and how long do they allow to be in the United States? So the duration of study under an F visa is while you study. It's called the duration of study. So as long as you're here studying and maintaining your, your academics, you can stay as long as you want. Um, what was the other part of that question? Um, it's um, what is the cost of these visas and how okay. long do they allow to okay. be in the United so States? So the cost is a little over $510. So you have 160 for the application for the embassy and then you have 350 which is related to the Form I-20. However, students must budget themselves, not only for their living expenses, their tuition costs, and of course, we're in Miami. Of course. So you want to have some leisure and enjoy yourself. Okay. Uh, what obligations must a student fulfill so that his visa, his or her visa, is, no, is not revoked? So, maintain your academics, come to class, do your study time. That is the most important. Remember, you're getting a, um, a degree from an accredited university, and that is high priority. And that's going to be useful in, in so many ways when, when you leave Atlantis University. So, just keep that in mind. So, remember, enjoy Miami, but also please come to class and be on time. Uh, do all student visas allow you to bring a companion or a family member? Under the F visa, yes, yes. Immediate family, so spouse okay. or children are welcome. Okay. Uh, what are the limitations of a student visa? So there's not a lot of limitation when you're here to study. Um, I think most students would find a limitation is they cannot work off campus. You're not allowed to work while you're under the student visa. However, um, the government does allow for you to work on campus and, and we do have jobs available. 
Um, but again, many students are very interested. Um, so come with your game, come with your, your resume and you know, apply for the jobs that are available on campus. Okay, so remember, um, you can also ask questions and comment about this forum down below or wherever the comment section is, okay? Uh, what are the benefits of a student graduating in the United States? Well, number one is that education. I mean, I think that's every student's dream is to come and get their education, whether it's associates, bachelors, or the masters. It's gonna help you in your life, in your, this is the next big step in someone's life. So that's number one, we're accredited university and it's really going to look good on the resume and given the experience i mean our school is great not only in the lecture but the practical you know the practical experience that they're going to get while they're here as well okay now let's talk about a little bit of uh, opt and what opt is the practical part so the practical part of their uh, their education is when they graduate they can apply to the government to have their opt which is optional practical training okay. and that is they can work they're eligible to apply to be approved to work under their program of study. So if you think about a master's in business, I mean, that's such a broad area. And with the United States, there are so many opportunities to work. And it's usually up to 12 months. Some degrees allow for three years or an additional 24 months after the OPT. So that's what it's going to give to them. I think it's great. Wonderful. And does the OPT have any classification? It's not really a classification because you're still falling under the CVIS record or the 4 my 20 and under the sponsorship of Atlantis University. Okay. And last but not least, yes. uh, what should international students who graduate in the U.S. do immediately? Do immediately? Well, breathe. <laughs> Celebrate, <laughs> right? They've just reached Definitely. a mark in their life that is phenomenal. Uh, but make sure you, you know, meet with me or someone in the department to apply for their, their work permit and get the practical training under their belt. I think that's, that's key. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So I remind you once again, guys, that you can ask your questions or comment about it in the forum. Thank you so much for coming and for very welcome. being with us here, Ms. Ressler. And thank you. It was a pleasure having yes, you today. Yes, it was, and it was fun. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Until next time.